In my life, I have been exposed to some really, uh, uh, as a young boy, really uh, hard things. I've been telling my children what happened in the, in the concentration camp. It is very hard to understand for them. The last time we saw our father, was, we were seven years old. This was in 1942. My earliest recollections were being in the ghetto. I was deprived from school, finishing my school. Although it was clear to me that I was Jewish, I had no idea what uh, being Jewish meant and why it was important to be Jewish. Our community, like so many communities, was built in part by people who survived the Holocaust. And they found the strength within to think about the future and to build for that future and to create a new Jewish community. And we're incredible beneficiaries of that vision and that effort. Jewish education is the reason that RPRY exists. Holocaust education and awareness for the students is an integral part of our curriculum. It's important to study because future kids need to know about the past. We want the students to have that connection and feel that connection to the survivors that are still around today. At our PRI, we have the opportunity to speak with survivors and learn about the Holocaust firsthand. Names Not Numbers is a documentary that our children do for a year of uh, Holocaust education. They get to interview a survivor. We take them to the Holocaust Museum in New York City. The children bond with these people. Most importantly, the children learn how to connect with another generation that they probably would never have an opportunity to do. It gives them such incredible pride that they were able to be a voice of the people that couldn't have a voice. They went through all this very complicated events and without the survivors, we wouldn't be as strong as we are today. We wouldn't be who we are today. Education of any kind is very important, especially our Jewish education that we had lost. We weren't allowed to. Just by virtue of the education that we're providing, it's really a tribute to their legacy. When our students interview the survivors, they see how when they were children themselves, the opportunity to be educated was taken away from them. I know that Holocaust survivors were not able to practice Judaism during the war, but I'm very fortunate that I'm able to. Watching these people who never had the opportunities that these children are given and knowing how important it is for these children to carry, I would say carry the torch, but I really feel that carry the Torah and live by the Torah. It means everything to me. It's what it's all about. It's uh, a feeling of uh, hope. What matters is what a person uh, has and holds inside them. And that's where the survival of the Jewish people resides. It resides in the Jewish education and the unbroken chain, moving forward, our experiences, uh, our laws, our way of life, our philosophy, and that's taught in Hebrew day school. All children who are given a basic Jewish education, there is instilled in all these children a sense of where they came from and where they're going to be. I think today's studies is important in my life because I'm a Jew and I want to grow up being a Jew learning the language of the Jew. We teach Chumash, we teach Navi, we teach Ivrit as a language, we teach Jewish history, we teach Israel education, Zionist education. Without Jewish education, our PRY wouldn't be our PRY. It wouldn't be the same school, it wouldn't be a yeshiva, and it wouldn't be as special as it is. We really try to synthesize, to integrate different aspects of our curriculum as it relates to the students' lives. We actually don't use the term secular studies because that sort of implies that math and science are divorced from our philosophy as Jews. Rather, we use the term general studies because learning math, learning science, learning language arts is part of what we see as the mission of a Jewish education. My favorite thing to study is probably Navi. We're learning Ishmael Aleph this year, and I love the storyline. I like Ivrit because we learn all the current events about what's happening in Israel and in the United States. I like to be caught up with the world. In addition to the details, what do you do on Shabbos, what do you eat, the fundamental menschlichkeit is started and created and built right here right from the start through eighth grade. And so when the, when the kids leave this school, they leave here 
as young human beings and they understand how they should act and they understand how they should react. Our students are taught to be ovde Hashem, to serve Hashem, to learn Torah, to do mitzvot. And equally important, they're taught to look out for their friends, to be sensitive to others, to be kind, to be generous, to be giving, and to make a contribution to the broader world. Learning at RPOI teaches kids to have good meetup. As I get older, I want to make sure I'm very dedicated in what I do, generous to other people, and kind. When we see that there are shining examples and shining stars in the outside world after they've left the four walls of RPRY, that's the greatest accomplishment that we could ever feel. We're creating uh, people that will make a great contribution to the world. RPRY was founded in order to educate the children of our community and we're really, really proud of our almost 75-year legacy. I think for the Holocaust survivor to see our beautiful school that they feel proud and happy of what they did and their bravery to survive the war and to see what it's become.